1.2 refer to information BE for the trading stock. Calculate the trading stock deficit. Calculate the trading stock deficit for max. So if you look at information BE, it is set there. This is page 5 of your question paper. And information E, you have a table that is provided there for the unit cost, the unit price, and the total. And there is a statement which tells us that trading stock is valued on the weighted average method. The ledger account and records reflect that 280,000 units should be on hand. So we are supposed to be left with 280 units. However, the physical stock count reflects only 262 units. So there, is, there are some units which have gone missing here. If you look at the number of units, so the physical, the, we, the records are showing that we are supposed to be left with 280 units. But we are only left with 262 units. 262 units, which is telling us 28 minus 262. Is, is it 262? Yeah, 268 and 262. So this is about 18. 18 units. There is 18 units missing. And we want to calculate the value of the 18 units that are missing. And we are told that this business is using the weighted average method. So it means we need to calculate the weighted average price. The weighted average price, which will be our total cost divided by the number of units. Our total cost is 8,100,000. It is there in information E. Your total cost is 8,100,000. Our total cost is 8,100,000 divided by the total number of units. The total number of units is 2,000. So 8,100,000 divided by 2,000. 8,100,000 divided by 2,000. So we'll then get the answer that is 8,100,000 divided by 2,000 that's 4,050 the weighted average price is 4,050 so weighted average price is 4,050 so 18 units multiplied by 4,050 18 units multiplied by 4,050 because each unit is valued at 4,050 and there is 18 units missing. So 18 units multiplied by 4,050. 4,050 multiplied by 18 units. That is 72,900. 72,900. So the trading stock deficit is 72,900. Calculate the trading stock deficit. We have 18 units that are missing. If you compare to what we are expecting, 280 units, but the physical count revealed 262, which then tells us that 18 units are missing. And the value of each unit, according to the weighted average price, is 4,050. And 18 multiplied by 4,050 will give you 72,900. And remember, this is an expense which is going to be needed here. So we then transfer it here. Trading stock deficit under operating expenses. Trading stock deficit. We have trading stock deficit and the amount is 72,900. Our trading stock deficit is 72,918 multiplied by 450. 4,050. Right. Then, 